It was almost 10 years ago that Tacoma hosted its last Tall Ships Festival on a day pretty much like today, and that weather pretty much ruined the fun. However, this year, organizers and those participating are saying rain isn't going to stop anybody from having any memorable moments in this year's Festival of Sail. Beautiful. Uh, it's it's a pleasure to be on her. I thoroughly enjoy it. That knot is going to transfer the load between your hands and that knot. So One of those groups participating is the crew of the Adventurous, which includes volunteer Joe Bartlett. And the mission that we do, especially with grade school education, that it opens their minds to other possibilities. It's really important. Sound Experiences Adventurous has been setting sail for over a century, and she'll be joining 21 other classic tall ships for Tacoma's Festival of Sail. The Adventurous set sail for Tacoma from its home port in Seattle's Silshow Marina this week as one of many voyages it still makes around Puget Sound between March and October of every year. Do school kids all the way to my grandfather, you know, that's 90 something years old or something like that. And then we have ones that are all girls trips, all women's trips, elder hostels with grandkids and everything else. And you watch the changes in the dynamics between these people as they learn about themselves and the people around them more, and then the experience of empowerment, and then also about, you know, the marine biology and stuff. John Willette has been volunteering on the Adventurous for 25 years, and while the return of the Festival of Sail to Tacoma is a special event, which the crew is very proud to take part in, this century-old vessel still sets sail for its new adventures every week on local waters. Well, the Adventurous, uh, since we run, since the Adventurous runs pretty hard during our sailing seasons, uh, we usually like to have about 12 to 14 people on board. Uh, the sails are raised, and some of them are, you know, the main sail and boom is about 3,000 pounds, and we don't have any winches. We do it all by manpower. And it takes uh, that many people to run this boat, uh, between handling lines, explaining what's going on, uh, running the educational programs, and all that good stuff. General Taylor gained the day, walking along. The Adventurous was first launched back in 1913 in East Booth Bay, Maine. Not long after that, she became part of the San Francisco Bar Pilots before finding a new and permanent home here in Puget Sound in the 1950s. In 2016, Washington Governor Jay Inslee proclaimed her a cultural and educational resource for all. Uh, more for the, uh, the showing of what can be done. For instance, here we live on what's called low energy. We have deck prisms that duck sunlight from the deck down below so we don't have to run lighting. We have a battery system that we use to keep us running without having to run the generator. And we use the coolness of the Puget Sound to cool the, the refrigerator. So it's, it's teaching people how to live reasonably without uh, a lot of expense. This 133-foot schooner has seen its share of history, renovations, and upgrades. However, it still possesses that 20th century efficiency and charm that these schooners are historically famous for. Seeing all the uh, people come on this ship and then watch them somehow, the changes that the ship makes in people when they get to experience not only an old ship, but then also they get to learn about the sound on which we are on top of. Heat, you gotta say heat, otherwise it doesn't work. Two to six, heat! I get away from the outside world. My world becomes the length of the ship. My responsibilities are the length of the ship and to my fellow crew and the boat itself. I don't have to worry about what's going on in the world. It's very common. The louder you yell, the harder, the harder you haul. The harder you haul. For Northwest Now Digital First, I'm Chris Anderson.